What's up everybody, it's Dan the Bugman. In this video, we're going to be finding out what bugs are the best bugs to step on. We are in fact going to be squishing some bugs. Not only are we going to be squishing bugs, but I am actually going to rank which bugs I would recommend stepping on. We are going to be ranking eight bugs, five of which I have with me today. Now, a lot of questions come to mind when you think about the question, what are the best bugs to step on? But of course, before we step on any bugs, we need some bugs to step on. So let's go find some. All right, so I'm catching some insects out in my backyard and I figure that this has got to be a good place for some bugs. So let's see what we can find. It was about 70 degrees today, so I'm hoping this will be a great day to find some. I wouldn't recommend uh, rubbaging through a bunch of bricks. There's got to be at least 20 snakes in here. All right, now that we've got some bugs, let's introduce our contestants. Contestant number one is the stink bug. And contestant number two is a bumblebee. And our next contestant is the common ground beetle. Contestants number five and six are a centipede and a millipede. Now, I've categorized centipedes and millipedes together. They are a little different, but for today's video, they're gonna be in the same group. Our next live contestants are three earwigs, and one is trying to escape. Whoa. And for our next three contestants, I do not actually have samples with me, but I am still going to rank them. We are going to rank ants, cockroaches, and butterflies. So how will we determine which bugs are the best to step on? Well, I've come up with three grading criteria. The first grading criteria is the squish factor. Which bug creates the biggest splat? The second grading criteria is the crunch factor. Which bugs make the loudest crunch when you step on them? And the final criteria is the pest factor. Which bug really just makes you wanna just step on it? Without further ado, let's get into the testing. Now, before we get into it, I do need to say that there were some bugs harmed in the making of this video, but I've done whatever I can to make this process very humane and killing as little bugs as possible. Now, our first contestant will be the stink bug. Thank you for your contribution to science. Now, I'm sure everyone wants to know, does it stink? Oh, yeah, it stinks, but it's not bad. It's kind of like tangy, sour smell. All right, our next contestant is the common ground beetle. Thank you for your contribution. Nice. And our next contestants are the centipede and millipede. Thank you for your contribution to science. And it looks like it's stuck to my foot. Now everyone please welcome our next contestants, two earwigs. And they, these are also stuck to my shoe. Next up, we have the big boy, the bumblebee, but instead of stepping on him, we're going to let him go outside, and I'm gonna tell you why. So let's let this bumblebee go, and hopefully it doesn't fly off in my home. Be free! All right, just to recap, we stepped on a stink bug, a ground beetle, a centipede and a millipede, and earwigs. The bugs that we didn't step on were the bumblebee, cockroaches, ants, and a butterfly. We're not gonna step on a butterfly. Now for the final rankings of which of these eight pests I would least to most likely recommend stepping on. In eighth place, the bug that I would least recommend stepping on is the butterfly, of course. I gave the butterfly six points for a squish factor because it probably would be pretty squishy, two points for a crunch factor because its wings are probably a little crunchy, and zero points for a pest factor because they're not pests, they're beautiful. 
Negative one out of 10, I would recommend stepping on a butterfly. In seventh place was the bumblebee. And for the same reasons as the butterfly, I would not recommend stepping on this. For the bumblebee, there was a squish factor of eight because I would think it would be pretty squishy if you stepped on it. And for the pest factor, I gave the bumblebee a negative 10 because bumblebees like butterflies are very important pollinators and they are not pests, but they do sting, which is not fun. So just keep your distance. The bumblebee had a final ranking of two out of 10. In sixth place were ants. Ants got a final ranking of four out of 10. I would only recommend stepping on ants every once in a while, and for these reasons. Ants had a crunch factor of zero. Their bodies are so small, I don't think they would crunch at all. They also had a squish factor of zero, because another reason, their bodies are just not so big, so it wouldn't do much good to step on them. But ants did get a pest factor of 10, because ants are pretty darn annoying, but stepping on them won't help, because there are thousands of ants in a colony. In fifth place are the centipede and millipede. Centipedes and millipedes, they're not very squishy, but they are pretty crunchy and they are pests because I see them around my house all the time. In fourth place was the common ground beetle. This pest was one of the best to step on. It was crunchy and it was squishy, but it was only five out of 10 a pest because they're not usually in your house. Common ground beetles got a 6.5 out of 10 ranking. So if you see one, you can step on it if you want. In third place are the earwigs. Earwigs are quite crunchy and they got a high pest factor because they are pretty common pests, but they had a low squish factor because there's not much in them. Earwigs got a final ranking of seven out of 10. So you can step on earwigs too. And coming in second place, the runner up of our squish competition is the stink bug. The stink bugs got an eight out of 10 squishiness, a 10 out of 10 crunchiness, and an eight out of 10 pest factor. But because they are stink bugs, I took minus five off their score because they stink, especially when you step on them. For my final ranking of stink bugs, they get an eight out of 10. The grand prize winner of our stepping on bugs contest for this episode is the cockroach. Cockroaches got a nine out of 10 squish factor because they're pretty darn squishy. Trust me, I've stepped on them before. The cockroaches better just be thankful though that I wasn't able to find any before I did this video. We'll get them next time but they aren't that crunchy. So I only gave them a six out of 10 crunchy rating and I gave them a 10 out of 10 pest rating because they are 10 out of 10 pests. Cockroaches had a final ranking of nine out of 10, which is pretty good. So if you see a cockroach, you can go ahead and step on it, but I wonder if there are bugs that are 10 out of 10 step rating. So to wrap up the video, I still have a few key points to talk about. Stepping on bugs is only a last ditch effort in pest control practices. It is not a long-term effective solution for pest control, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. But I've been wondering, what other bugs are the most squishable bugs? Have you guys ever stepped on any bugs? If you guys have stepped on any bugs, just let me know in the comments and we can talk about what bugs you stepped on and what happened. Also, let me know which bugs you would like me to step on in the next series. Hopefully the weather gets a little warmer here and I can get some different bugs to step on. However, I do not wanna make a habit of stepping on bugs. As I said, it's a last ditch effort in pest control and it is a little messy. I had an awesome time filming this video. It was fun to catch the bugs. It was fun to plan out the videos. It was fun to rank it and it was pretty fun to step on them too. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any topics you want me to cover in the future, let me know. 